Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 13, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance called Demon. Now, I know this alliance of old. Uh, I was in an alliance with two guys that had a friend who was in this alliance. This alliance was always a higher tier alliance than the one that I was in. Uh, at one time, when I was trying to find an alliance uh, to join that was higher tier, I was ready to push a little bit more. Uh, I remember uh, talking to one of them, and at the time, my prestige was still a bit too low. Uh, I had not been paying attention to my prestige at all, so that's no surprise. Uh, so when I saw their name here, you know, it's been a while, and I was just like, oh man, this will be great. You know, my alliance... Uh, used to be Platinum 1, and even though we're not focused on Alliance War, uh, we should still be able to give a decent showing. Well, I was wrong. This war was probably our worst war of this season so far. Alright, so first up, I'm fighting this Killmonger. Now, Killmonger with that reverberation can be very annoying, but he's on Path 1, which is a Starburst Path. And I have Gladiator Hulk. Or as my boy Ghost Dog would say, Gladiator Hulk. Um, but he is the best option for this path. So far, I have not found anyone that I would say, okay, maybe I shouldn't use Gladiator Hulk for this. Not saying that they don't exist, but so far, I have not met them. And I would suspect that if they're really that good, that they would be reserved for the uh, more difficult paths. But as you can see, we're not having any difficulty here uh, taking down this Killmonger. As long as Face Me is active, we don't have too much to worry about. It's very, very safe. All right, so Gladiator Hulk took him down without too much difficulty. Uh, they did not place a defender if I remember correctly, on that first node, um, which is common. Now, this node here, this mini, I don't bring anyone for this particular fight, uh, which is why I don't do this fight. All right, so they cleared it. I went ahead and uh, moved all the way down. And now I'm ready for section two. And I've got two fights here. Uh, I take path two. Uh, for section two now if you saw my recent opening you know that I just got a void if I get void awaken and ranked up I would also be able to take path one in section two because uh, he does very well there all right so here we are fighting this uh, cable and I like using Starkey even though he's a glass cannon, Starkey remains one of my favorite champions to play. And you will see why in a moment. So, fighting Cable is not that difficult. The node does not make him any more of a pain. Uh, it was empowered immunity, if I remember correctly, and he doesn't really have any immunities. But just look at the damage. Look at this. He was almost gone after my five hit combo. We've got 10 hits in and he's almost gone. I like Starkey. I didn't even build all the way up to his max poise charges. He is definitely one of my favorites. And that's why I bring him to Alliance War uh, pretty much every time. You know, there's been occasions where I've seen defenders and I know that he wouldn't do very well against them. So I did not bring him, but any chance I get, I bring in my Starkey. So now we're going up against Cull. Now Cull, on a, you know empowered immunity, Cull doesn't have any immunities, so I don't have to worry about that. And you can see here, I'm just building up my poise charges. You know, he looks like a big boy. Looks like he could be tough. I'm in the corner here, and it's time to shine. Starkey is on the attack. Look at that, 10 hits, and he's down to 30% of his health. Just gotta wait out this uh, 
futile gesture he just threw at me. And look at this. Just boom. Wham. And he's gone. That's my boy, Starkey. But the war is not going well. During this war, we lost someone. They left in the middle of the war. So knowing that we have lost the war, you're going to see an excerpt from my live stream on this fight. All right, so this is the excerpt that I mentioned. Uh, if you saw my live stream, you've already seen this along with, you know, my commentary and all of that. Uh, but if you haven't, uh, it's on my channel. You can go ahead and take a look. But basically what I'm seeing here is that everyone is gave up. They just gave up. OK, um, we've got almost 20 minutes left and you can see here uh, the minis are up. I wasn't seeing any movement at all. And so I'm like, OK, well, we've lost this one. So I may as well go ahead and play around with this thing boss, uh, mini boss. And I go in here with Blade. Blade is normally a very good counter for thing. And Blade can do this fight as well. But I don't do this fight well with Blade. All right, so somebody that is uh, far more skilled than I uh, could do this fight. But fighting thing is pretty straightforward. You need to keep track of those rock charges. Uh, you don't want to hit him after he gets 15. Like right here, you want to back off and bait out the special. My problem, of course, is that this node also has buffet and I believe it's empowered immunity. So as you saw, he's just healing. Not only is he healing, but he's getting power because in order to remove those rock charges with blade, I'll parry him, which puts a bleed, which he's immune to, but it'll remove his rock charges. However, as you'll notice, he gains power when I parry him. That's because of the node empowered immunity. So when I went into the fight, I've not done this fight ever. So I'm learning this as I'm going in here and I'm just like, oh boy, this is going to be an interesting fight because the way that I normally would fight him doesn't seem to be working very well here. And I've mentioned before that I do not do well changing mid fight. Okay. So at this point, I'm just like, wow. And look at that. He already got a special three. Now during the live stream, I said, wow, I was hitting him. And he went um, and, and fired his special three off. Now, there is a bug where the computer will do that, but that's not what happened here. I had to slow it down and watch, but he was already at 15 rock stacks, but he was also at special three. So I was just trying to get in a few extra licks because I knew I was gone. And what happened is that he was at 15. I hit him. He went unstoppable and then fired his special three. So no bug there. That's just something that happens. All right. So now I'm like, okay, well, I know we've lost. Uh, I still didn't see any movement. Nobody's doing any mad last minute rush or anything. So I'm like, okay, well, may as well go on in here and uh, continue playing around with him. Now, I figured my Starkey would do a little bit better. The reason that I'm attacking him right off the bat is because of his protection. I didn't want to build up poise charges with Starkey because then Starkey would hit really hard and trigger that protection every time. Uh, that was my thinking. Okay. So you can see here, I'm trying to do the best I can and I keep getting clipped. I'm not quite sure what was going on with me here. Um, I got clipped uh, with blade as well. Uh, so I wasn't sure, but here we go. He triggered uh, the protection and I'm just like, boy, this is going to be an annoying fight here. OK, so I got my special three and so I'm just like, all right, let's fire off this special three here. Unfortunately, I fired the special three off. I mean, the special two off when he was already at 15 rock charges. And then I just messed up. Um, I wasn't keeping track of the charges. He kept going unstoppable and just wrecked me. All right. So that was just bad playing on my part. 
uh, with Starkey. Starkey could have done a little bit better than that. Uh, I need more practice with this particular node. So now I've already gone down twice. Now, if we were actually going for the win, I would never be doing this. I would let someone else who is better at fighting that node uh, handle it, or I would at least try one time and then hold and wait and see if they wanted me to go again. But I knew we were going to lose here, so may as well get some extra points. And so uh, here we go. I have Gladiator Hulk going in here. Now, I don't normally use Gladiator Hulk unless there's some... Uh, you know, Starburst or passive degen that's going to activate his face me. But I'm thinking at this point that Gladiator Hulk might do okay because of the heal block. Now, keep in mind, I'm running suicide. So spamming his special one is still hurting me. Okay. But if you saw that, I actually put a heal block and it took care of the uh, buffet. So that was all right. You know, so here we go again. I'm still getting used to it. Now, on my stream, uh, people are telling me that Gladiator Hulk should do just fine because of the heal block. And you'll remember at the beginning of the fight, I was thinking somebody with a heal block might do better. All right. So instead of spamming the special one, you see, I was kind of experimenting that special two, not worth it in this case. What I needed was to stop that healing. All right. So after this, you see, I fired off that special one. Got the stun, okay? And if I had to do this again, what I would do differently is I would stick with spamming that special one like you see me doing towards the end here, and I would purposely trigger the buffet while I had the heal block like that, okay? Because now it's on a timer, all right? And then I would go in, boom, fire that special two off again, and then just keep whittling him down. See, that regen doesn't help because I got the special um, the special one off and the heal block up. And we actually got him down. So I was very surprised and impressed with my Gladiator Hulk. That was actually a pretty cool fight there uh, with him. But here we go. This is the guy that left. This is what happened here. He left the Alliance right in the middle of everything. We, he didn't say a word to us. There was no talking. Uh, in Alliance Quest, we noticed that he was about to item out, which should not happen, uh, especially at our level, because he should be speaking. You know, if he had a problem with a fight, that very first time he was having a problem with the fight, he should have spoke up. That is what we're all told to do. That's the rule. You are not to just keep going. And I believe he was still in section one. I'm not sure. Um, but I don't know whether it was a pride issue, uh, or what nobody was able to speak to him, but he just left screwed us all. Okay. Um, and I know the, the morale was uh, pretty low, which is why I think what happened in Alliance war happened. Uh, and you know, we had some people feeling bad because a space was made for him. Uh, he came as a package of three. But we didn't have three spots. We had two spots open. And one of our members actually took the hit and left the alliance so that we could get all three of them in. Because it was difficult to find people in the middle of an Alliance War Alliance quest series, right? So when this happened, you know, the other two that were with him that recommended him, they're feeling bad. They're really pissed at him. Uh, we don't know whether he sold his account, bought the account, what was going on there. Um, but in the end, that is what happened. He just left. Uh, so we didn't get to show uh, the Alliance uh, demon, you know, a decent battle. Uh, I would have loved for us to have been able to do that. All right. But, you know, in the end, of course, we lost. It is what it is. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.